right. Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in to Arkansas. We have a special guest today, the world-renowned Kate Hill. <laughs> Kate, thank you so much for coming on Arkansas. For those who don't know, tell them a little bit about yourself and the amazing work that you're doing. All right. Well, my name is Kate. I am with Rock City Digital. We are a digital marketing company here in Little Rock, yeah. and we do everything online for businesses. Yeah. Um, so we've been around for a little over three years now, and we're yeah. just rocking and rolling. Yeah, yeah. And, and don't sell yourself short, Kate. <laughs> Award-winning Rock City Digital. <laughs> Tell the people about the Small Business 30 Under 30 Award that you recently received. Yes, yeah, so I won the small business uh, owner under 30 yeah. for the Little Rock Chamber, like the Little Rock region. I won that this past year. Um, it was really exciting. I was kind of shocked. I didn't think I would win, ah, but yeah. I was really excited to receive the award and the yeah. recognition from them. Yeah, most definitely. Congrats. Thank a you. big, huge congrats on that. I've been a Rock City Digital fan for a couple of years now. Um, I knew Clay from the different things that he was doing in mm -hmm. Conway, so I'm um, essentially as glad to meet you. So early beginnings, tell everybody where you grew up. So I grew up in Arkansas, okay. all over though. So I've probably lived in 30 different houses oh, so wow. far. Okay. Um, my dad's job traveled a lot, but okay. I graduated from Benton, yeah. and then I moved to Little Rock and was uh, living here full time for five years. Yeah, okay. So I call okay. Little Rock home. Yeah, and I did a little homework, Yeah. and I saw that you were involved in politics a little bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> can you can you tell? Let, let's start with that. Tell us a little bit about your involvement in politics. We'll start there. Yeah, for sure. So yeah. I um, was going through college, yeah. did a political science class, and fell in love with it. Uh, um, I I love everything about political science, textbook wise. Mm -hmm. And then I took a semester off, decided to work in politics, and uh, worked for a little over a year with uh, hired campaigns yeah. across the state. Yeah. Um, and decided that that was not the life for me. Uh -huh. um, it was awesome. I loved the people that I worked with, yeah. but it was definitely a lifestyle versus a career. Yeah. So no work-life balance, working 80 hours a week, seven days a week. Yeah. Um, decided that I wanted to be able to actually live my life a little bit yeah. instead of just work it away forever. Yeah. How did, how did it feel like to leave that world? Because from what I was understanding, that you were pretty good at it. You were always <laughs> in the, the top tiered percentage yeah. of reaching out to people and, Mm -hmm. and getting donations for fundraisers and things. Mm -hmm. But what was it like to just leave from something that you were good at? It was a little scary at yeah. first. I will definitely say that, but it was also a bit relieving yeah. um, to know that I would have a little bit more control over my life. Yeah. I still kept in touch with politic political people. I still have people from politics reach out to me all the time. Yeah. So I'm not fully removed. Um, but it was definitely scary to get out of something that I knew I was good at and yeah. I knew the right people. But you always got to take that stuff, right? Always, yeah. always. So from there, um, and fast forward into Rock City mm -hmm. Digital, how was that idea kind of birthed or created? Yeah, so actually when I was working in politics, I was working on a petition downtown. Okay. And I saw this guy across the street and had yeah. been outside for eight hours and he had two dogs. And I didn't care if he signed my petition, I just mm -hmm. wanted to go see the dog. So I went over there, <laughs> you know, hung out with him for a minute and yeah. convinced him to sign the petition. Okay. And okay. so he was actually the digital sales manager at KARK at the time. Okay. And so we started hanging out and I told him what I didn't like about working in politics and what mm -hmm. I wanted in a career. Okay. And he got me on the digital marketing path. Nice. And so I worked for a digital marketing uh, company downtown for okay. a little over two years. Okay. And in that time, I really liked it. I love digital marketing, grew yeah. up with it, understand it, just makes sense to me. Yeah. And um, I realized at, at that two year mark that I really didn't have control over anything. Mm -hmm. I'd go to management and say, hey, this is what's wrong. Is, this is a way to fix it. Can we do it? Yeah. Big corporations, you can't really do yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so I started looking into starting my own agency and was researching for a couple of months. Okay. And then when I met Clay at a networking group, we decided to just do, just it. do it. Yeah. yeah. And, and here we are now, Rock yeah. City Digital. What, I know digital marketing is kind of your job. Is that, mm -hmm. would you consider it a hobby? Um, I'm not sure if it's a hobby per mm -hmm. se. It's funny because digital marketing is like the entire company and exactly everything we do. And I love yeah. social media, yeah. but at the same time, since I work in it now, mm -hmm. you try to get away from it when you're not working in it. Yeah. So you've got to take a little break because, yeah. you know, Facebook and Instagram are so much fun. But mm -hmm. if you're in it eight hours a day, usually when you're at home, you're like, all right, absolutely. time for a little break. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And that just made me think of something. And this is a question that just came to mind. 
Um, for someone out there who is on social media and they want to make the biggest impact that they can, right. what would you suggest to them that they can do away from social media still to be in front of people? Like off of social media yeah, to off. bring them on yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, what we did with ours is we hosted workshops, right? So there we hosted free work workshops for the community so they could yeah. come in and we would legitimately teach them our tips and tricks for how we run business. Ah. And because we were able to give that in-person value to them, mm -hmm. they were more receptive online and they would yeah. immediately follow us or leave us reviews about the workshop and they were way more interactive online. Awesome. awesome. So I listened to your playlist. Mm -hmm. There were definitely um, a couple of female empowerment yes. anthems on there. and. And that really struck me because it seems like nowadays that there is a growing movement among yeah. females, um, more for women's rights and things. So the term that came to mind is girl boss. Yeah. So what do you think that term means? Or can you just kind of describe with those anthems? You had Lizzo, you had Ariana Grande, they, uh, a couple more people on there. But sure. just what goes into the, just that female empowerment movement for you? You know, we grew up where our parents really grew up where women were like, the, the household yeah. people, they would cook the food, they would clean the houses, and we really started seeing a transition with technology and mm -hmm. with education and furtherment. Um, and so, to me, to be able to say, hey, look, I know like 50 years ago, things were so much different, but we've made so much progress. Yeah. It's really cool. And if even if you look at our company, most of the people that work in our company are women. Yeah. Um, and it just shows the value that we bring that people didn't think that we could bring, Absolutely. you know? Absolutely. And so music like that, I think for women these days is just so empowering to yeah. say, hey, look, we're as good, if not better than you guys. Yeah. Like, we can, we can still do it. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. I definitely applaud you for everything that you're doing um, in the technology world, because often that's a male dominant industry. Mm -hmm. So what made you just interested in technology in the first place? Like, was that something that you knew early? Like kindergartner, I want to be a coder or something like that. Or where did that passion come from? So actually, when I was younger, I remember we had dial-up internet yeah. and like our first computer, and uh, I would just go in there and be able to play with. It was legitimately just PowerPoint. Yeah. And I remember just enjoying like figuring out how to make things look a certain way. And I am not a graphic designer <laughs> by any stretch. Yeah. Um, but I love how online and like tech can give you such a like big efficiencies yeah. and make you work way smarter and not harder. There you go. Um, and that's always been my life motto, work yeah. smarter, not harder. And so um, being in tech has just really propelled that. Again, I thought I was going to do, like I wanted to be a US senator when I was younger. Yeah. So I had no clue I'd actually work in this arena. Yeah. But growing up with it, you know, it really just makes sense. Awesome, awesome. Let me ask you this. Um, what would you say to that young Kate now? If you, if you were able to go back in time and give her a message, what would you tell her? It's all worth it. Just yeah. keep working hard. I've worked very hard ever since I was 15 years old. Yeah. Um, had jobs where I was working six to seven days in high school, six to seven days in college. Yeah. So I was always working. Um, but I feel like I have an advantage now because since I started when I was 15 working that much, mm -hmm. basically full time, I was able to go through things much quicker yeah. and have four or five years on the working force longer than people my age. Yeah. So because of that, I just learned a lot. Oh yeah, awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. What's on the horizon for Rock City Digital? What's to come? Oh man, there's a lot on the horizon for Rock City Digital. I know so uh, last year we were the fastest growing agency in Little Rock. Wow. And that was super exciting. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, but one thing that I started to notice was what we were doing wasn't sustainable long term. Yeah. We weren't growing in the right way. Yeah. Uh, so in 2019, I decided to pause. Yeah. We decided to double down on communication services, okay. make sure that everything was up to par to be able to actually grow. So it was a pause year for infrastructure. Okay. And so we have about six more months of like really getting that down. Yeah. Everyone that's with us now has been with us over a year, so no one's in training mode anymore. Yeah. Um, we're bringing in really high level consultants to really push us even further. Yeah. Um, but right now we're focusing on making sure we have all three of our main products yeah. completely down. And then we are looking at other things such as AI, oh. uh, voice optimization, those okay. kind of things that are definitely coming and we just wanna be on the forefront. Awesome, awesome. Here's the hot seat question. We ask everybody who comes on the show this question. Five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, what do you want Kate Hill's legacy to be? 
I want to be someone that truly helps other people find their way in life. Yeah. That is one thing I've always enjoyed. Ever since I was a kid, my boyfriend, he actually makes fun of me. He's like, what do you get out of helping your friends like mm -hmm. find out what they want to do? Yeah. And I'm like, just joy from them being happy. Yeah. So that's, I mean, honestly, Rock City Digital, my favorite part about it is the people inside of it. Absolutely. Taking care of them, watching them grow, watching their families grow, mm -hmm. um, just being able to say, hey, look, I help them along in life. Yeah. Yeah, thank mm -hmm. you, thank you. Thank you for everything that you're doing, not mm -hmm. only at Rock City Digital, but just to influence the culture here in Little Rock. Mm -hmm. Anytime you want to come on, you always have an open seat here at Arkansas. Thank um, you. Kate Hill, everybody. You can see her social media handles as well as links to her curated 7 for 7 playlist and the Rock City Digital page listed on our blog post. Make sure you tune in next week for more Arkansas. Thank you. <laughs>